Anyways, so what Mangles allows you to do, so if you see over here on the list, allows you to build lists, like um, we're researching um, a company here for cold water therapy. And basically, as you see, what it allows us to do is if cold water therapy is the, the, the niche that we're looking for, then we can kind of hone in on and see exactly uh, which keywords that we could target and go for it. And, and um, you see even cold water therapy near me, like that's low hanging fruit if you had a solution for that. But what we do is we pop in the keyword um, in the search. So if we're, let's just say life coaching and click find keywords. And this is what I'd recommend is to start with kind of that main seed, seed word. Um, and you see it says it's possible, uh, 39, you saw my homepage was a 43 for that page. So it could definitely tackle any of these and rank for any of these. And that's kind of what you look for is you want to see that your page that you're trying to rank has to be at this number level in order to be number one or to rank for that particular thing. So whatever your page level from an authority, and again, this is SEO speak, um, that would determine this keyword factor. Now, anything that's like this, you see this, 14, and this is life coach for teens. Wow, 2,200 searches, 14. Okay, this is this means that pretty much most new sites within 90 days could grab this traffic right here with a, a, an appropriate level created content that's geared around the intentions for that search. So somebody typing in life coach for teens, guess what they're looking for, a life coach for teens. So if you know anybody, who has a life coach for teens, there's 2,200 people looking for that and there's not very much optimized for it. So if I click on that, that's gonna basically show me who's ranking number one for it, the teenlifecoach.com, coach for teens. So you see there's, there's, there is a, your life skills coach, um, but you see that they're, they're not very competitive. Um, some of these that's even in the top 10 and that's why this top this is only a 14 is because people that's in the top 10 aren't super competitive which would be easy for you if you had a life coach for teens program and this is what we're looking for so when we're doing seo research we're looking in to see um based on how old your website is or how authoritative your website is um, that's what this number represents that's what they call keyword difficulty um, so generally speaking, um, and again, Mangles will also tell you what your authority is for your website. Uh, so you just put your, uh, website in to see what that is. And then, and then you'd use these numbers kind of to gauge what you could tackle. Um, generally search volume that's this lower is what has your lower, uh, keyword difficulty, but this is just insane that this volume has this difficulty score. This could be an easy article, um, especially anybody who's working with teens. Um, so that's that's just typing in like life coaching, the C. And, and this honed in down to the teen level for me, it just showed me opportunities here. And so that's kind of what you're doing in this research phase. And again, and everything that we do from a marketing standpoint, this research again is this x-ray vision down to who's ranking for the word. So you can see your competitors right there. Um, so if if my competition, let's do another one. Um, let's go uh, even like elderly care. Let's see what those come up with. Now, the, wow, so you see the top ranking competitor for elder care is a 92. That means they are, uh, they are beefy. They, you do not want to tackle that. But there's a lot of searches, 25,000 searches that anybody who has a fairly decent keyword, you know, ranking score could make a lot of money in this niche if that's what you do. If you're like, no, I do 
caretaking for the caretakers kind of thing. Um, this is kind of what you've got to do. You got to use a little creativity here and start. Once you see something, you dive into it if it makes more sense. Now, to make this easy, what I generally do is I I just sort it based on sometimes keyword difficulty. Um, so it'll bring, and as you'll see, a lot of those with the hourglass. That just means that it wasn't already pre-searched. Any of these things that's already green, that means that somebody's already searched these. Uh, somebody's already pulled the data down. They're already looking at this. Um, so like living companion for elderly, that all these could, you could, if you had this as a niche, you could write content and you could get people coming in um, based on that content. So there's, and then there's a lot that we haven't looked at. So you would look at the volume. So that's also what I do. So. I would see this difficulty and then look for a high volume since I have the low difficulty senior companion care. I would look and see is any of this stuff that I could write content, shoot a video for, um, especially this low hanging fruit, even a five minute video, you could rank and get that traffic. Okay. E even e at this scores, these scores are super, super low. Um, and so you'd look down, I mean, even this 26, a thousand home care for elderly in their own homes. And that could be a guide, that could be a giveaway, that could be, um, you got a thousand people every month looking for home care for elderly in their own homes. That could be, hey, sign up for my guide that shows you how to take, you know, and then people get on the list and then you, you maybe you offer services for that. That could be how you dive in. Hopefully that makes sense and you can apply this to your niche. If say I have, um, um, 